Hello and welcome, everybody, to a special edition of Last Week in Quantum. And this week, we are going to relive uh, the QSecure's experience in Davos at the World Economic Forum. And we're going to go over recent reports that we've contributed for the World Economic Forum in regards to quantum computing and the future of cybersecurity. I'm Bill Roth, and I'll be your host today. And with us today is the illustrious Rebecca Krauthammer, co-founder and chief product officer at QSecure. Now, not just another person slaving away at a startup, but somebody who graduated in symbolic systems from Stanford in 2013, was named Forbes 30 under 30 back in 2020 in quantum computing, also named one of the top 12 women in quantum computing. And to me, she's number one. Glo and also part of the Global Futures Council for Quantum Computing at the World Economic Forum. Thank you so much for joining me today, Rebecca. What's up, Bill? Bill Roth, Water District, Santa Clara, 2024. You know, folks, don't forget to vote, electbillroth.com. We appreciate it. <laughs> but enough about me. Okay, so for us little people, you went to Davos. You went to Davos. How was it? Tell us what it was like. Uh, cold, mostly. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> More, but but I'm sure that there were interesting people to talk to. It was fantastic. Um, it's it's beautiful. Uh, it's like the only place in the world where you go and you see like, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas talking about like AI ethics and like Al Gore talking about cybersecurity and all the world leaders um, getting together, coming in and discoursing. It was. Um, we got to hang out with with a lot of our our good friends, made new friends. Um, shout out to Accenture, and yeah, the, I think the 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 topics of course of this year really centered around AI. So it was what everyone was talking about. Um, uh, cybersecurity was noted by many as top threat to like our future. And that's really kind of what like everyone's there to talk about is what are the, the biggest things impacting the progress of, of humans in the world. And, um, and so of course we, of course that's a, that's a topic that's near and dear to our hearts. So I think AI, cybersecurity, um, and of course a lot of good talk about quantum. And that's, um, I have the, the privilege for the last three years of working with the Global Futures Council, uh, Global Futures Council for the World Economic Forum on quantum economy. And, um, and so we get to like hang out and talk about quantum and the biggest kind of threats that, that quantum brings, as well as the biggest opportunities it brings and how we help kind of articulate and shape um, the understanding of those to help, help bolster the good. Um, so a lot of really fun talks. Um, uh excellent yeah yeah so, so but we we also had um some white papers that i think that you have been part of and that you transitioned um in fact one of them was actually transitioning to a quantum secure economy tell us a little bit about that paper and of course that link will be in the show notes and by the way don't forget folks to click the subscribe subscribe button and if you're watching this on uh, either LinkedIn or on YouTube, give us the thumbs up. But tell us a little bit about that transitioning to a quantum secure economy and how we should think about it. Totally. So this one, this was one of the, the first papers I was part of helping write and shout out to um, uh, Felipe Bieto at the, at the World Economic Forum and a number of others who um, I got the, the privilege to work with on this, but it was really like one of the first papers where it was outlining for policymakers, uh, especially so like heads of government, um, decision makers, board members, like how do you transition? Like we all know now that quantum is coming. How do you transition into a quantum secure economy? So it's all about like, what can you do to take those first steps, um, whether it's from a government level, Bill Roth, mm -hmm. things you can for a, for a water district. Indeed. Uh, or whether it's from the like the the board or critical infrastructure level. Um, and how do you think about governance as we move into this future where things are quantum secure? So and and check out case studies. Those are especially interesting. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, actually, for those, th this one will be in the show notes. Make sure you do check out the case study. Um, as QSecure has been in this section long enough that they actually have successful customers. 
which is, and are willing to talk about it, which given my experience is rare. So next up, so the quantum economy blueprint. Talk to me about this uh, second paper, which talks about from an economic perspective, national and regional quantum strategies. Um, how, how should we think of this paper and how should we think of what they're trying to accomplish here? Okay, th this one's cool because a lot of a lot of the stuff that we we write about when we write about quantum is ideas. Um, this one builds on some work we did before when we put out a, a quantum computing governance report. Like, how do you think about governing technology for for good? Mm -hmm. This one is all about um, it, it takes those those perspectives, like what does governance look like? What is promoting sustainability and talking about the transformative capabilities and mm -hmm. of course cybersecurity, the importance of that. Mm -hmm. um, how do you dehype quantum? But it's all it's all kind of within this framework of what's actually happening and looking at different like um, places and frameworks that are actually being implemented by governments or otherwise around the world. So it's 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 also kind of that case study basis of how quantum is being approached, whether it's the Netherlands or Canada or U.S. or um, and very various other regions in the world. So it's a really, really kind of fascinating paper to see the actual state. And that's the goal really is to understand exactly where quantum is and how it's being, I guess, shepherded into the world. Hmm. So finance is usually kind of one of the leading edge technologies. Any new technology that's taking root does tend to show up usually in um, finance. So there was a third paper, which is quantum security for the financial sector. Uh, where I think you talk about um, various regulatory approaches. What's the what's the thought behind this paper in terms of kind of broad policy um, broad policy recommendations? This also, in some ways, builds on that transitioning to a, a quantum secure economy, but it's focused at the financial sector, which, after government, is the First, it's the sector that's moving the fastest in that transition to adopting quantum safe security, cybersecurity. Um, but it's also, it was chosen as the first because it's the first uh, uh, that is being urged to um, get more aggressive about that roadmap. So once again, it's, it's framed as, okay, you govern like financial institutions. Here's what you need to do step by step to uh to to either start or continue on this path and here's how you need to think about like prioritizing here's how you need to think about like engaging um all to the end of data is at rest is at risk right now of that store now decrypt later harvest now decrypt later threat so here's here's your blueprint and go right mm -hmm. and that's specifically the financial side Excellent. That's a great rundown. Um, glad you had a good time in Davos, albeit a slightly chilly one, as always. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your insights. That's all for today's show. I'm special edition host Bill Roth, and with us for this episode has been the estimable Rebecca Krauthammer, co-founder and chief product officer at QSecure. Thanks, Rebecca. I like that. I like that. Thank you, Bill Roth. Shout out to Bill. Once again, vote. And uh, shout out to a lot of the, the collaborators, uh, Charles Lim with uh, JP Morgan, um, Freika from the Netherlands, uh, Arunima, Sarkar, um, and many more who, who led and contributed to this effort. And as always, thanks to our show producer, again, the double estimable, Trina Mabunai. Hey folks, Ooh. thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next week on Last Week in Quantum.